the gray hammer here. Today we're going to set up uh, what's called a PC link. So it allows you to connect your computer to uh, DSC alarm system, DSC Neo is what we're using at HS2064. Uh, that's the panel type. Um, so there's, there's a little jack that comes with it. And when you connect it to the panel, it needs to be facing upwards. And the four pins, there's four pins here, but there's five on the panel. And so it goes to the four pins on the left hand side. Um, and if you have an IP communicator or a GSM connected, that would be connected to PC Link 2. And now you're able to connect this one to PC Link 1. On the older panels, it didn't have two PC links. So once we connect that to the panel, then we connect our USB to the computer. And if you come closer, you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. So the DLS software right here, we open that up. So this is the login here. This is the login just to the software, not the panel. And so the default is one, two, three, four. Usually I don't change that because it's just my computer. That's a warning saying it's not a strong password. So now when we are at a new site, we're gonna create a new account right there. And we're gonna call it um, whatever you want. Uh, you know, this place is called BG. E, um, it's in NISQ, okay. So this is just the account name for the computer on when it's on the computer. Uh, account group, root just stays the same. Here you're gonna select the panel type, HS2064 version 1.3. That can be found up on the panel on a sticker. Connection type, uh, you can just leave this as PSTN. It's not the way we're connecting. You, you have to enter some numbers here, I just enter one to nine and a zero. Just random numbers. Here's the panel ID code. I'll show you how to get the DLS access code. We're gonna pause the video and I'll show you that now. So we're looking for the DLS access code. So we're gonna enter programming. Our default installer's code for this panel is four fives. And it's four zero three. Uh, I'll just back out so you can see. 403 DLS access code. Start to enter. So our code is 206400. Pound, pound to get out of programming. Back to the computer. So we're going to enter our access code. Six digits. 206400. Default, I think it's the same for all of them. Then we'd click, click create. But I already have this account made. So I'm just going to go into it. Following panel modules have been auto converted. Okay. These panels can be restored by accessing the properties in this account. Would you like to delete them? No. I don't want to delete nothing. So it opens up this, this, uh, these modules that are all standard, but we're not connected yet because it says connection is offline. Um, there's no progress, no efficiency. There's no state. So we need to check that our modem is configured properly. So we go into, sorry, um, tools, modem manager configuration. And if this isn't created, you're gonna wanna create one. Um, so we're looking for a PC link, right? And you could click um, add. And you wanna make sure that the port is the COM bus so COM4 USB serial port, COM4. Might say something a little bit different on your computer, but it's a USB serial port. Uh, so, and PC link, those are what it should say. So that's all good. Now we're going to, um, if you, can you go in close there, David? So this here says global upload, get all data from the panel. 
So now we're gonna make a connection, and as you can see, it says PC link. Here's our access code. We're gonna click OK. And it says communication job added, connected to COM4, and here's our efficiency, green bar. And we're gonna get a progress bar that starts soon. So sometimes the progress bar can take a while. But as you can see, we pause the video for you, save some time. Green progress bar is almost done. There we go. So that says communication complete. Now you'll see in here, our users, um, it picked up a couple users here. So if you wanted to add anything or change anything, now you can do that. You know, we label all of our zones right here. Um, top line, bottom line. It shows all of our definitions, attributes, our wireless device IDs. This is great. And if you want to change something, so say we want to relabel this to door four. Now you see what happens is you get a little a tag with an arrow and so after we made all our changes in the programming um, users partitions zones schedules everything like that and you go up here um, zoom in there it says global download send all data to panel so you do that and then it would send all the data and then you're done you can also just save it for later if you want to work on it and click save Changes that have been made to this account, do you wish to save changes? Yes. But until you click that um, global download, it won't send any of this information.